Welcome back everybody, I'm Juliet and today is our day 5 of our self-love yoga practice. And today quote is, the healthy self-love towards ourselves means that we don't have a need to justify towards ourselves or towards others why we do a good things for ourselves. For example, taking vacation, buying a new purse, buying a new shoes, going to special places. It simply feels amazing doing those things for yourselves, which add some quality and some beauty to our lives. And again, the healthy self-love simply means we don't have that need to justify ourselves or that compulsion to justify to ourselves or to others most likely why we do a good things towards ourselves, why we pamper ourselves. It simply feels amazing to do those things which add beauty and quality to our lives. So let's keep it in mind through this practice, think about it, and I really want you to share with me what experience you had through the weekends when we're not gonna see each other. So, and we'll meet again on Monday, but for right now, let's begin our practice today in a seated wide angle. And guys, it doesn't have to be super wide leg opening. Just do whatever feels comfortable for yourself. And we will begin here just by giving our body a little stretches side to side. Let's do a few of them. And then we're gonna take our arms behind and open up our heart. In through the nose, out through the nose. Take it back. Reach all the way up again. Do it again, side to side. A couple times for each direction. And again, please share with me what transformation, what changes happening with you through the day. Maybe you meet a new people. Maybe you feel the differences, how you communicate with others, how you communicate with yourself. Maybe you've been more loving towards yourself than before. I want to know about your transformation. Let's fold forward. And just spend here a few breaths. And let's do it from the other side, the same thing. So it doesn't have to be guys low, but just try to lengthen in the spine, keep it tall and long, and only after that we descend. Very nice. And let's go ahead and do a few rotations. We're gonna start in the center with one hand. So it's a little bit less for the back first until we're ready. And let's do the other arm and then let's do again right and left left and right and I think we're ready we're gonna take it a little bit farther from each side and then maybe a little bit deeper from each side just be patient please your body guys always take good care of it and just the fact that you're doing this yoga practice it's already a big sign of your self-care and your self-love. And self-love is very different for each and every one of us. So I want you to share it with me so that might help someone else to think differently. Reach up and open. Very good, guys. So let's go ahead and begin today in a simple half Lord of the Fishes pose. So we're going to bend one knee under, one foot under, one on top. If that doesn't flow, it's really good with you. Then take that foot outside and that's gonna work just fine. We're going to reach up and give yourself a good hug. While we're holding it, let's just think together. What's the latest thing you did for yourself to really pamper yourself, to really pamper yourself not because you achieve something, not because you've been working too hard, but just because you love yourself, because you are a very lovable human being. So share with me, I want to hear it, and I will share with you what I did. I normally teach classes all day long, and I'd love to take other teachers' classes, but I never have time for it, and I always choose to teach the class or to record the video. And yesterday I went and I took the class of one of my favorite teachers and it was really, really good class. So I was really proud of myself. So let's go ahead and grab 
this food or use a strap or towel and open up that leg to the side if it feels good. And also, if it feels good, go ahead and look against away from that extended leg that requires some balance. Peace. And let's take it back and we will simply switch. So we will take this left leg under, right on top or outside. And we're gonna spend first a few breaths here. Level your shoulders. Maybe you want to close your eyes. Maybe you want to keep them open and just give that knees, that leg, give yourself that nurturing hug. Let's again awake that self-love. Get ready for the day and just let's make an intention. No matter what happens, we always remember who you are, that you're a very special human being, regardless your achievements, your titles, your education. Let's open it up and share, of course, those aspirations, those quotes with others, guys. Because that one little sharing can make a big difference in someone's lives, can save their lives, save and you never know. Just a few breaths, if you can take all the way your head away from that foot, extended leg, do it, and then let's slowly return it back and we will make our transfer to our knees and the forearms, guys. So we're going to set the knees directly underneath the hips today, elbows underneath the shoulders, pull your navel in, let's keep the good stability for that back, and we're going to do that cat and cow, simple flow of cat and cow, in through the nose, out through that nose, just a few breaths. Let's do one more. Great job. Very nice. Take it back to the neutral position. We're gonna take the right leg up. Pull the navel in, try to create, guys, a strong structure. It's a long line between the top of your head, between your shoulder blades and your foot. Keep on breathing. Let's slowly draw the knee, chin, chest, or belly towards the nose, maybe even, and then take it back. Let's extend the left leg. Long extended spine. It doesn't have to be high, but if you can set it right as a continuation of your tailbone, that would be great. Hold your both hands flat. Keep on breathing. Keep lengthening. And then exhalation. Draw all the energy we see. Let's take it back. Open it up and down. Couple more times. And come on back up with me. We're going to place our hands very close to the knees. A real cat straight. Kind of you're wrapping your body with your open spine, with your open shoulders. And then sit yourself back on the heels. Wiggle, wiggle, open up. Do it again. And of course, while we're practicing here, let's remember is that quote of the day? Let's do it a few times, guys. Healthy self-love. It's not selfish to ourselves. It's just simply doing the nice things for ourselves, which add to our life some richness, some love, some quality, and some beauty. So we can serve and contribute to other people's lives more effectively. So we open for that. So it's good for us to take care of ourselves. It's not selfish. And let's, guys, go ahead and change our position to the Malasana squat today. You can open up your feet wider. You can put them parallel. If you can set them on the floor, you might put some pads or blocks, or you can also sit on the block. Let's take our both hands together up front of the heart. And for right now, let's close our eyes so we can focus within being present right here and right now. And through that present moment, let's set an intention to flow through the day, upcoming day, or the half of the day, whichever that for you today, with love, with care, with attention towards ourselves. And whenever something feels not right and contradicts 
to that inner self-love. We will just be brave, be strong, and learn how to say no and maybe even move away ourselves from the situation. In the opposite way, if something feels right, feels good, feels nurturing, but someone else disagree with that, but down inside you know it's good for you and it's good for you because it's going to add that beauty to your life, that kindness to your life, that variety. So you're going to be a better person for others, not just for yourself. Go ahead and just remember this quote and don't hesitate and move forward. All right, team. Let's sit back. Let's bring our both feet up front to our bound angle or Baddha Grab your feet from one side. Open your heart to that love, receiving that love, and then hoping that love, forgiving the love to others. Hmm. Slowly take it back, guys. Let's go ahead and reach up. As always, look towards the sky, look towards your fingertips, draw everything you want to draw in that heart, including that self-love. Let's make a commitment to follow through, to listen to ourselves, to inspire others, to inspire through the inspiring ourselves, little changes. And I will see you guys on Monday and we will continue our journey to the growing that self-love within. So please comment, share, let me know how you feel. And I can't wait to see you on Monday.